What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something really fun and exciting going on with the truck. We are going to be installing some rock lights. Uh, I bought a whole kit. I got about two in each wheel well. So we're going to start with eight and see how that goes first. And then depending on how that looks, we might end up adding more um, and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get this started and not waste any time. Okay, we're back. I got everything opened up, pretty much all the packages taken off. Here is your main module here. This is what's gonna supply power to each one of the rock lights. It comes with all of the leads already preset to plug and play. Now this is an eight rock light kit. So if you're going to be buying these, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you specify that you want a four, four light kit, an eight light kit. Are you buying, you know, two eight light kits together. You wanna to make sure you buy them all at the same time so that they're already programmed to work off one module. So definitely wanna make sure you pay attention to that. Now these are from oneuplighting.com. Uh, they are one of my sponsors, full transparency there. So I did get a small discount on buying these. Uh, if you choose to buy rock lights or any other vehicle lighting from them, just use my discount code HARM10, which is H-A-R-M-10. For 10% off your your order so that's awesome also in the box is going to be your led lights it's got a nice long lead wire again everything's pretty much plug and play these are the rgbw so they have the red green blue and white and then all the variations of colors in between these are going to be able to work on wi-fi because the control box here actually has a wi-fi lead so you can actually download the app and change all your colors on the fly and then you got all these pouches in here with your different mounting points. <clears throat> so what they look like, they're little rubber gaskets. One has more of a concave. So if you're trying to like mount it to like something that's rounded, you have that available. And then you also have a flat back, which is primarily what I'll probably be using today. And then you got some hardware in the bag as well. So let's go ahead and get this started and go from yeah. there. I did run to Advanced Auto and grabbed a few more other supplies just in case. Um, I grabbed some 16 gauge red and black wire here. I grabbed some 16 gauge terminals, different sizes and styles to use. I also grabbed a rocker panel switch here. Um, that way I could put that on the inside dash. Um, yes, your phone will be able to control these lights from the app, but I always like to have a kill switch like that just because in case the app ever crashes or my phone crashes or something goes wrong, I don't wanna to have to sit there and disconnect these from the battery to turn them on or off. I'd rather just have a kill switch and we'll go from there. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna need it or not, but I have a feeling I will need the wire because from what I am gathering is a lot of these rock lights here that have these lead wires, especially from the back of the truck. If I'm putting them back here, they might not be able to run all the way to the front engine bay which most people want to put their module there because, because it has the shortest lead wire to the battery. However, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to end up mounting the module probably under the cat, under the midpoint of the truck somewhere, I'm connecting all my lights to the um, power cords here. And then I'll just run extension wire here to the engine bay to get me power. So that's probably going to be what I'm going to do. So I'm thinking about mounting one like right here towards the front. And it may be somewhere over here towards the back. Okay, I'm using my DeWalt drill with a 3 8 bit. That should be wide enough to get this wire head through the hole. And if I have to kind of round that out, I can, but I did not want to go to the bigger size drill bit and then make the hole too big. Because again, I really just need to fit this right here through the hole, but the wire is very thin. So I was hoping just to make a hole big enough to fit the head through, and that way I don't have as big of a hole for the, for the wire. So let's go ahead and get this measured up a little bit and see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is once you determine the location of where you want your rock lights, you're gonna just mark a hole through the center here and then drill that hole out with that 3 8 bit I was telling you about. Then you can see this is the flat part here. Let's see if I can catch the right angle. You can see it's like flat part with a little bit of a ridge. This is the side that your rock light mounts to. The other side of that with all the grooves, that's what's going towards the truck, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, see if I can get the light, take your lead wire, go through this front, 
okay? Like so. And then just pull your wire through. So that's essentially how it's gonna look, okay? And then you're just gonna drill your mounting holes right through there, straight into the wheel well, okay? So, you know, I just took the fender flare off, unbolted a couple bolts, got the wheel well liner out. So I'm gonna go start installing them now. Okay, we are looking at the underside of the wheel well, this being the top, okay? So what I did was I tried to look around which would be the best place to mount these. Since I have two rock lights per wheel well, I'm gonna put one kind of off to the right and one a little bit off to the left. So, so just doing a little bit of measuring, I measured from the top lip down to the center hole, about 10 and a half inches. Same thing over here, top lip to the center hole, about 10 and a half inches. That way they're pretty much level side to side. And then I spaced them out about 20 inches apart. So from that hole to that hole. The first rock light, I got my main power wire hole drilled. And then I got my two mounting hardware holes drilled. So I'm gonna get those installed okay, next. The first wheel well is done. We got one rock light there and another one right over there. What I did was I took the wire behind the wheel, the wheel well liner from here, zip tied it to this one, brought it right down through here. It actually pops out right through here. And then I electrical taped it and ran it through the cross beam here. And then it drops out right below there right here and that's where we're going to run to the control module once we put that in the middle so one down three more to go the process is going to be exactly the same i'm going to go start on the rear well liner and we're going to get that going and once i get all four done we'll start talking about the control module underneath okay got the back one done so i have one over here and i have one up here they're already mounted and again from the back, I zip tied that wire to this wire and then brought them down here so that that way those can run to the middle of the truck where we're gonna have our control module. The easiest thing to do is take your fender flares off if you have them, take your wheel well liners out and then measure them. Now the front, I already measured those. The back ones I'm finding, I'm still doing about 20 inches apart. And then on the back wheel, li wheel well liner, since they're not as deep, I think I did about six and a half inches from the back lip, measured in that way I can try to keep them as centered as possible. Okay, so let's okay. keep going. We got all eight rock lights installed. This is the front fender. There's one, there's two. The wires are coming down through here. Driver's side rear, there's one, there's two. The wires are coming down here onto the floor. So as you can see, I got two wires there, two wires there. Passenger side rear, there's one there, one there. The wires are coming down onto the floor. And then the front passenger side, one there, one there, and the wires coming to the floor. So, now that we got those all hooked up, we are going to now work on placing our control module somewhere in the middle so I can connect all eight wires to the control module. We're gonna do that. And then after that's done, we're gonna wire the control module to our switch. What's up guys, just working on wiring this up. Almost done. Wiring, got a little bit more to do, but I just wanted to show you out that on these, coming from the module here, as you'll see here, there is going to be an arrow. You see the arrow right there? Right. Now coming from the wire from the actual rock lights, there's going to be an arrow there as well. So basically what you're doing is you're going to line up the arrows and then you're gonna screw it in. So that way you're not just jamming it in there and ruining the plugs you just line the arrows up once you plug them in you screw them down tight so i got all the rock lights wired up at all four, all four wheels i had to run the wire fish it through 
Um, I am going to 100% need those extra 16 gauge wires that I bought at Advanced Auto because it is true from what I read online that many of these rock light kits don't come with enough wire from the rock light itself to get to the module to keep the module in the say the engine bay. So I went ahead and mounted the module. It looks like kind of a mess right here, but everything's zip tied in because, and I'm right, right pretty much below the cross member here, right in front of the gas tank here. And I mounted it up here on a flat spot and I used, there was some wire already right here from the factory. And I just went ahead and wired all of my wires and tied it to that, um, zip tied it to that pre-wire there to keep everything kind of flush to the cross member here and away from anything that could be interfering with it. So got that all done and cleaned up. Now I just have to get my lead wire, power wire here and run it up to my switch. So I'm gonna go do that next. Okay, everybody, we are done. We got all the rock lights hooked up, wired up, got all the wheel well liners back in place, got all the fender flares back on. Everything is working. I did not mount the actual switch yet. So I put this switch in here just in case the app that works the lights on and off for some reason doesn't work or crashes. I can actually manually turn these on and off however I want. So if we just go look right now, lights are not on. Flip the switch. Rock lights are all on. So everything is working, everything is running. What I did was I ran the positive from the battery to this switch. I ran a, the middle wire here, the middle red wire right there where my middle finger's moving. The middle red wire is actually going down underneath, connected to the control module. The black here is ran to the negative terminal in the battery. And then coming out of the module underneath, again, the red is hooked to this red here and the black underneath, I actually just mounted and then I just grounded it right here to the frame. So that's it. Okay guys, we are done. Everything's wired in, everything works great. All the wheel well liners are back in place. Fender flares are all on. Everything is good to go. So I will be back later tonight to show you what it looks like when it gets dark out. But for now, I will just say this, these lights so far seem really, really good. I'm really happy with them. I got them from oneuplighting.com. Now, full disclosure, One Up Lighting is one of my sponsors, so I did get a small discount on this set of lights. But if you want a set of lights, whether you want rock lights, inside, you know, interior lights, wheel lights, whatever LED lights you want, they have them. If you go to them and buy anything off the website, use discount code HARM10, H-A-R-M-10, and you'll get 10% off your entire order. So let's wait till later tonight and I'll show you what they look like when they're all lit up. Okay, just so you guys can see what I did. The positive, I brought off of this lead wire that already has a fuse. This is what I was using for my steps. Basically what I did is I used a shrink coupling here that actually solders and shrinks it at the same time. So basically I tied into that with the positive wire. So my positive wire here is being run to the positive of the switch. Then I have a negative lead here that comes off the battery that goes to the negative lead of the switch that's under my seat. And then I took a positive wire off of the switch that goes down underneath the cab into the control module. And then the negative coming off the control module, I grounded to the frame of the truck. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what I did on the wiring. Okay guys, we're back. Let's see what this looks like at night. So in front of me here is the app. Now I do have a switch that can manually turn these on and off, but right now they're turned on, but I'm controlling them by the app. It's called LED lamp. Click on that. Now there are a bunch of settings here. I'm not sure what each one of them does just yet. So we're just gonna stick with the first one. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna turn them on. Right now, nothing's on. I hit the power button. There we 
go. So now they're turned on. Sorry, it's just hard to do this with my, th my finger. So that's what they look like right now. Now we could change colors. Maybe red. This is awesome. Blue. This is sweet. We can go kind of like a yellowish, which is kind of like a like a greenish yellow, but you can control all of this. Like a purplish color. Back to green. And because I got the RGBWs, I even have white. I can get different colors in here. So this is pretty, pretty sweet. So there's the driver's side. Let's go take a look at the passenger side. So here's what they're going to look like up close. So that's it guys. These are the one up lighting rock lights. If you go to their website and order anything and use discount code harm 10 you get 10 percent off they have rock lights wheel lights interior lights all kinds of stuff so go check them out highly recommend them my next test is to see how long they last and how well they do over time but so far i'm very pleased these are awesome As always, I appreciate all of you. Go ahead and like this video, leave a comment, let me know how I did, let me know what you like, what you don't like. And if you could do me a big favor, subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. 